What's going on YouTube? Sam Broom back again with another video. I know I didn't do too many videos last week. Um, did a little traveling. Um, back to like our third home visiting our brother and sister down there in, uh, in Cincinnati. But anyway, I took this down there with me and it did pretty good and I wanted to make sure I wore it again today so I can give you a good understanding of um, how well some of these, these companies out there, these indie companies that's that's actually giving you their spend on on, on uh, um, popular colognes out there, and how they how they doing? All right. Um, but before we get started, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, tell a friend about the video, um, hit the thumbs up or the thumbs down button. Don't don't matter which one, and make a comment. Let me know let me know how I'm doing. If there's some things that I can do to improve my um to improve my uh, content. All right. Or what should I add to my content? Don't be afraid comment please I don't like wallpapers I want I want I want, I want people to to uh, actually participate in the growth of this channel all right but anyway this is by since um central Cent Cent central obsessions central obsessions and this was um their take on uh trying to get the focus kind of doing like a um, like a Mr. Cheap sense but it's their formulation of YSL tuxedo all right let me see if I turn this around. Maybe it get it a better, better angle. I guess not. But anyway, it's YSL. Um, their, their formulation of YSL tuxedo. All right. I probably had it all, all the way upside down. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to do this in two parts. And it, it's, it smells very similar to... Um, to a fragrance by Roche House Man, Roche House Man as well, and that's um, Mustache. Pretty similar to that as well. Everybody know that Tuxedo and Roche, 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 Roche um, Mustache are pretty similar. Another warning or disclaimer I want to make sure uh, that 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 scent was sent to me by Kevin all right and I'm gonna be as real as possible don't care if I get it for free don't care if I purchased it if it's crap it's crap and I'll let you know that all right but so far the stuff that he's been sending me the stuff that art fragrance has sent me all of them has been pretty solid. Pretty solid. So, I'm going to do my best to tell you exactly what I think of it. It starts off sweet. But, but Kevin's version gets to the woody part. And I don't know if it may be my skin. Kevin part of this um, Kevin take on tuxedo gets to the woody woody um, meds like pretty soon. Um, I, I don't get that sweet that sweetness and that the sweet florals and stuff like that like I do out of the, um, the mustache. I had a little small thing of um, tuxedo before that I got from Dallas. Don't know what I did with it, misplaced it somewhere, but I do remember the scent and it was pretty sweet. This one um, gets to the dry down pretty fast. One other thing I gotta say, forgive me with the road noise, forgive the vibration. Hopefully it won't be that too much of the vibration going on. And then the road noise, you know, again, it's an old work truck. But we'll do this in two parts. I mean, that sweetness on Kevin's version went away pretty quick. And like I said, I'm right. I'm right now. I'm in the mid. I'm 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 in the the woody notes. I'm 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 right there at that stage. I'm right at the mids right away. Within minutes, to be honest with you, I do like the scent. I do like the way it smells. It is manly. Um, it doesn't leave. It doesn't lean unisex. It, it, this is a man scent. But again, I will be doing this in two parts. So I'm gonna let you know exactly what time 
I had to respray it right now. I sprayed this on at 8, about 8.30. It's now 8.40 a.m. And um, I'm, I got the sweetness a little bit, a tiny bit of the sweetness and a lot of woody notes. It seemed like a little tobacco in it as well. I don't know where I'm getting that tobacco from. But it seemed like I could smell a little bit of tobacco as well. But anyway, this was part one of it. This was the early stages of it. I'll get back to you soon, later on this evening, with the update. Back. Listen, so, as I said, I was gonna give you guys an update of how it went down this afternoon when, um, Central Obsession's uh, um, formulation of tuxedo. I'm trying to just keep saying um, um, um. <laughs> but anyway, Central Obsession's formulation of tuxedo. So around a four hour mark, it started to get close to the skin and it's, it actually turned to something pretty sweet. Um, it's, it, it, you know, in the beginning I said that it, it, it the sweetness kind of like went away and then it went right to the woody notes but then after some time sitting on the skin um it actually turned into something really really good i mean it turned into a nice sweet woody scent um perfect for date night i would say perfect for date night it lasted um as far as projection wise maybe like two two hours um I sprayed it on my shirt as well. Normally I try to keep it on my skin, but I got I put a little bit on the shirt just to see exactly how long it was gonna last. And with the combination of the skin and the shirt, um, it pushed out maybe like two hour mark. But again, it got to that woody note, like woody but sweet. Um, so it was something that's good for cuddling, something that's good for close encounters. Um, I would say that's what this one is for. It did, it did a really good job. Their take on it um, surprised me um, because again, at the beginning you had the sweet notes and then it went and it went like almost immediately to the woody notes. And that's what I got on my skin. Um, I'm not sure if that was just me in this morning, but I'll spray it again on my, my hand. I still got a little bit of reminisce on my hand. Um, but Kevin them did a good job with the scent. Yeah, that nice sweet smell at the beginning it's like a citrus, maybe like an orange or a mandarin or something like that with a little bit of a um, lemon. But it doesn't last long. It almost go right to it. And then, like I said, it started to get a little bit of a tobacco and things like that involved in it as well. But overall, not bad, Kev. I really appreciate it. Thanks for showing me some love. Thanks for sending this out to me. If you get a chance. Check out Central Obsessions website. They got a bunch of bunch of fragrances out there. And it's all their take on on, on uh, popular scents. Alright. I'm not gonna say clone, but it's their take on it. Everybody have a take on something. I mean, everybody think that they can actually improve um, a fragrance that they that, that's popular. So again, Central Obsessions, formulation of tuxedo. Good job. Alright. That was my update. I want to say thank you for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Share the video as well. Hit the thumbs up, thumbs down button. And comment. Alright? Let, 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 let YouTube and everybody else know what you think about the video. Alright? This is your boy Sam Broom. Signing off. Peace.